Pertinax is a legendary hero, paladin class, holy element, and comes from the Owl family, where when one of the members of this family receives mana status ailments then it will be replaced by mana generation buff for 3 turns. His ether power is counterattack, where Pertinax will counterattack 60% of the damage received for 6 turns. Judging from this initial assessment, we can see that Pertinax is a defensive hero. Pertinax's basic stats are high, and his stats are pretty good in attack and defense. He has average mana generation, making him a pretty good hero to use in defensive formations. However, Pertinax does not have passive skills, just like the other Owl heroes, which is quite unfortunate. Pertinax actually has three skill effects. The first is Generate Minion, where Pertinax summons Alkiri for himself and nearby allies, where the minion inherits 25% health and 45% attack from the caster. The second effect is Alhalla. If the Alkiri minion is defeated, then a random enemy is sent to Alhalla and removes all status effects from target. While in Alhalla, the target receives 360 damage per turn, can't gain mana and can't be healed by special skills, but is immune to normal attacks, special skills attacks, damage dealing passives, new status effects and stacks. Also last enemy left in the battle can't be sent to Alhalla, and Alhalla lasts for 4 turns. The third effect is Moonrise Ward, where the caster and nearby allies get Moonrise Ward for 3 turns, which reduces incoming special skill damage by minus 600. Reduces damage by additional 40% when attacker is holy. Where if we look at Pertinax's overall skills, then we can conclude that Pertinax is counted as a minion and buff hero, even though his minions are not as strong and thick as Cell and Set's minions, I can assure you that destroying Alkiri Pertinax was a big mistake. Because the effects that come out afterwards, such as damage over time, mana blocks, healing blocks, and buff blocks, will hit one of the random enemies for the next few turns, which will definitely greatly affect the team's overall combat ability. Plus the Moonrise Ward effect which reduces special skill damage makes Pertinax and his nearby allies much more durable during battle. From the assessment of details, base stats and hero skills, we have seen that Pertinax has very reliable defense skills, so you could say that Pertinax will be very good for filling tank and flank positions in attack and defense formations. Meanwhile, for the Titan attack team, Pertinax is not really recommended, because of the effect of his minion skill, makes him even less suitable to use. However, in raid tournaments, Pertinax will be very good and suitable for use in various types of tournaments, especially in rush attack and bloody battle. Pertinax is a minion and buff hero who has a fairly durable combination of defense, we can see this from his basic stats, class, ether power, and skill effects, where he has pretty good basic defense stats combined with the paladin class, which is the tankiest class in the game. Combined with the ether power effect, namely counterattack, which can make the enemy more wary of attacking him in the first six turns. And coupled with the effect of his minion skill which is a trap for most heroes, especially minion killing heroes, such as Alucard, Ojima, Grimble, and Galapago. Alhalla's effect is actually quite similar to Lepiota's Abyss Ghost effect, because Pertinax's damage over time is three times stronger than Lepiota's, and coupled with his Moonrise Ward buff, makes the durability of Pertinax and his nearby allies even stronger. Where on the one hand, the opponent's combat ability is reduced due to the Alhalla effect, on the Pertinax side, the defense is even stronger, so this will be quite a headache for the opponent during battle. However, even though it is said to have very reliable defense skills, that doesn't mean Pertinax doesn't have weaknesses. Where if Pertinax faces fast control heroes, such as Luna and Bubbles, then this can delay Pertinax's special skill from being cast. Or when dealing with minion stealers like Jeffjin, or minion blockers like Bera, Pertinax's skills can also be countered without the slightest difficulty. However, if you don't have a mana control hero, minion stealer, or minion blocker, then maybe you will have difficulty facing Pertinax. And if there are no significant changes to Pertinax's skills during the beta process. So I can say that he is a hero who is very worthy of having.